And last but not least, I'm going to talk about, so uh, I've had lots of people do our year blanket class now. And they said like, we would love to do another blanket class. And I'm like, well, what would we do? And so we decided to do cables. And so what I found, I didn't design it. I found a beautiful cable blanket it, that's a little different. And instead of being square blocks always, it's got some different shape blocks. So it looks really, it's really beautiful. <clears throat> so I've got two of the blocks done now. And we're going to be using... Um, Cascade Aran. So it's just like a heavy worsted. Um, and we're on, well, you end up with three needle sizes, but we're on 10, nine, you're mostly knitting on a nine. You're casting on and casting off with tens and eights. And um, and it's not real casting on, casting off. You, you're knitting an I cord. So you're knitting an I cord for the beginning. You're picking up the stitches. And then, so here's the center block. This is the center block. This won't be the first block you make. But this is the slinter block. I think this may be the most difficult block in the thing. <clears throat> I don't know yet because I haven't knitted them yet. <laughs> so that's the center block. This yarn is washable and all that stuff, but it's very soft and cozy. And then here's one of the side blocks. And the center block would be like here. And there'll be another side block, a different cable pattern, but this shape. And then, yeah, so this class will start on the second Sunday in July, which is July 9th um, from 10 to 12. And I think we'll run it the second Sundays. We may have a month, like there's four blocks that are on the bigger side. So we may make that a two month project or something. We'll see. I haven't, we haven't, I haven't, <laughs> still in progress here, but I am setting a date because I need a date so that I can get as much, I can get as much done. And I have like a date that I have a deadline. I have a deadline deadlines are good <laughs> so um so anyway so if you're interested you'll let us know you'll be ordering the yarn beforehand i highly suggest one color i don't i mean you can choose two colors but i think it's so elegant looking and it'll be mostly elegant looking in one color now cream is like the go-to color but it can be any color and this yarn comes in many colors so what you'll do is you'll come in you'll pick a color and then and then christine will order the yarn for you because we're needing a like a bag i don't know yet <laughs> i don't know yet what we need but <laughs> we need at least a bag and maybe a bag and a half i'm not quite sure so we'll need at least 10 skeins and as i get a little further on i'll be able to narrow down the amount of yarn a little better but anyway, so that's coming up in July. So I'm just sort of putting out there so you can think about it and um, see if you want to do it. It'll be the second Sunday always, the second Sunday. So you can block those out for traveling or whatever. Or if you miss a class, you miss a class. It happens, you know, you're not going to be able to make every class. That's okay. You, you'll catch up. <clears throat> So, sort of side about this, this is really fun. And this, like this cable, these look a lot harder than they are because they're very sort of repetitive. There's not a trillion different cables in them. There's like four. And um, yeah, but you'll be get, get really good at reading the charts because it's really, you need to read charts. Uh, it's so much easier if you're reading the charts than if you're reading the words. And the charts, you'll get the charts after you do it a bit. You'll understand what's going on with the chart and you highlight the chart. You do lots of stuff to make it easy. And, um, but that's the stuff you'll learn. So, and how to keep track of it because that's probably my hardest part is like in the line on the chart, like keeping actually track of which, where I'm exactly at without constantly yeah, dealing with the chart too much. So anyways, so you'll learn the chart reading and I've got tricks and tips on that and you'll learn all about cabling and there's tips and tricks and tips on that because you can do this without a cable needle. I have found a new cable needle that I like a lot. Um, yeah, because it, it sort of stays out of your way. And so yeah, you'll just learn, you'll be a master at cabling by the end of it. So there you go. So that's in July.